Hi everyone, it's Tom. Welcome to video number 35 in the IC7300 from A to Z series. We've been working on the CW functions for the last couple of videos. We're continuing that this time with editing the keyer memories and how to set up a couple of special features that they offer. Let's get to it. All right, let's tune off of this guy a little bit and uh, let's take a look at the keyer memory functions. So we're going to press menu and then we're going to press the keyer button. And then here's your keyer memories. You have eight of them, as we talked about in previous episodes. Now let's look at how we program those and set them. So we're going to use the Edit Set menu here. And you press Edit. And then it lists the memories. And you can scroll up and down, or you can scroll up and down with the knob. So in memory one, I just have a short CQ with my call sign. If I want to change this, you just say edit, and then you can touch the screen here, and we can go back and clear this. And for example, I can say, you know what, I want to do three CQs, and then my call sign. And then you just press enter. And so there we have it. And then we can go back and we'll go back to the memories. Now, you notice on memory two, you see that the number here has a white box around it and there's a little up arrow here. One memory is special in that it has an auto increment feature where if you send a number, like a serial number for a contest, then it will automatically increment it every time you send that memory. So let's go look at how that works. And again, you see here the up arrow on the memory here. And if I go back into the edit settings, there's the 001 set. This is the settings related to that number. So the count up trigger memory is by default set to M2. That means that that's the memory that every time you send it, it's going to increment the number. And then here it says present number, and this is the number that it's going to send the next time I send that. So I've gone up to nine here because I've been fooling around with this a little bit, but if you, you can start it wherever you want. So let's say you were working a contest on Saturday and you reprogrammed some things or reset some things, and maybe Saturday you had gotten up to 25 contacts and then you were starting again on Sunday so you wanted to have this start with 26 you can just use the increment decrement here to have it start with 26 so now if I go back out of the memories here and I look you'll see it says test 026 and also this little button down here on the lower right shows you the next number it's going to send and the little minus one allows you to decrement it by one. So now it's 25. The purpose for that button is, you know, let's say I'm working in a contest and I say, all right, I'm going to send memory to it. Like, oh, crap, I didn't actually work the guy or didn't complete the contest, contact. So it just incremented to 26. Well, I can just hit the minus one and it puts it back to 25. So if you accidentally incremented it, you can use that. So let's take a look at how you set that number, <clears throat> and we'll also look at the number settings. There's a few options there in a minute. That was back on that number set memory. So if I go back to edit set, and uh, first we'll go and edit the memory itself. So in the memory, you notice it's got, and I just have test just to send something short here for these examples. If I edit it, it says TST space star. And if I look in the symbols, there's no star here. So let me go back here and let me clear that. If I just send TST, and actually we'll enter that, we'll go back out and we'll just take a look. So if I tell this to send, we'll do it. So it just sent TST and no number. 
So let's go back in and we will edit the memories. We'll go into memory two. And if I edit it, we'll go to the end of the sequence here. If I hit the symbol button now, there is a star here. The star can only be put in to any given memory one time. So if I hit star, now I have TST space star. Star is, tells it where to put the number sequence. And if I go back and I look at the symbols, the star is not there anymore. It only lets you put that in one time in a memory. So you can't repeat it, which actually is a little unfortunate because if you wanted to maybe put it in there twice to send the serial number twice to make sure people copied it, that would be kind of a nice feature, um, but it doesn't let you do that. So if I go back out, whoops, no, I don't want to cancel the edit. I'm going to hit enter. Now you see it shows the last number in there. And if I press send and Sorry, let me do that again. I'm going to turn the squelch all the way up here so that we don't have to listen to the annoying hash in the background. So that's sent 0, 2, 6, the actual numbers. Let's look at some options for that. Because in contesting, frequently um, people that are especially that are fast CW operators, have some abbreviated ways to send numbers. So if I look at the 001 set menu, it's got number style, and up here, and it's set to normal now. That's the default, which is for each digit, it sends the actual Morse code character for that number. So here are your other options. 190-ANO. So what that means is for 1, it sends an A. For 9, it sends an N, which is a common abbreviation for 9. So like, for example, if you were sending a signal strength report to somebody, instead of sending the digits 599, very commonly in CW, people will send 5NN for the 9s. So, and then O instead of 0. So again, dash, dash, dash is shorter than five dashes so if you set this option it'll send a for one i have no idea why the a for one there's a i'll put a link on the bottom of the video here there's a, a good website that talks about these abbreviations and uh, uh, what are the common ones that are used but it'll send an a for one n for nine and an o for zero now if i go back whoops sorry let's go back to the other options here um, if I pick this option, it sends for 1, A, and for N, it sends, uh, or for 9, it'll send an N, and for 0, it'll send a T, one single dash. And then the final option you have is it doesn't do anything special for 1, but it sends an N for 9 and an O for 0. So let me just pick that one. And if we go back here... And so now it's going to send 027. So. So it sent an O for the zero. And we'll go one more here. So it sent the two and the eight as normal. Now we're at 029. So we'll do it one more time. So it sent the O for 0, the 2 it sent normally, and it sent an N for 9. So again, if you're into contesting and uh, you're into sending abbreviations, and uh, this gives you the various options for doing that. I'm going to, actually, I'll, I was going to say I'll put it back to normal, but I'm going to just leave it there for now. But that's the auto increment um, memory. And it's now, as I said, it's set to memory number two. Now, you can change that. Uh, if we go to the number set, count up trigger, this is the memory number that is the count up trigger. So right now, it's set to two. That's the default. And if I go in here, you can set it to any memory you want. 
what they don't make very clear is the the memory that you set to be the count up trigger doesn't have to be the memory that actually has the serial number in it. So I'm going to set it to 8. And if we go back out of here, so now you notice the little up arrow is on memory 8. Memory 2 still is the one sending the number. I don't actually have anything programmed into memory 8 right now. So if I just hit memory 8, uh, I think I have to have something programmed. So let me go down here and we'll go to memory 8 and we'll edit it and I'm just going to send H I so now I have H I programmed into 8 if I program hit that it just sent hi but you notice it incremented the number in memory 2 and in our little box in the corner here So now if I send memory 2, it sends the correct incremented number. So you can put that number in any memory you want. You can only put it into each memory one time. Uh, and you can put it into more than one memory. So, for example, let me go edit, and we'll edit memory 5. We'll say edit. And I'll go to symbol, and it's going to make a liar out of me. Do I need to put uh, something in there before it? No. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm incorrect. I guess it will only let you put it into all of the memories um, one time. I thought when I was fooling around with this earlier, I was able to get it to show up in another memory, even though I had already had it in one. So... You can only put the serial number into one of the eight memories. It can be in any one. It doesn't have to be in the memory that's actually going to increment the number, although typically that would be where you would want it. And you can make it any one you want. So it's a nice feature if you're doing contesting. The rest of the editing, I think, is pretty straightforward. You just, uh, um, you know, you get the keypad and you put whatever... Uh, sequence you want in there uh, from the keypad and then if you noticed when I was um, transmitting you'll see it shows you the characters that it's sending as it's sending them here uh, and then one other feature and this is the same on the voice keyer and it's actually the same on the ready keyer memories if you press and hold a particular memory it will repeat it will just put it in a loop and repeatedly send it and you see the little loop symbol show up. And there was a two second delay there. And I'll go back and review that. And then to stop it, if you just tap the memory again, either in between or when it's sending it, it'll stop sending immediately. And you may recall we looked at this briefly and kind of skipped over it a couple of weeks ago. Um, or whenever the last video came out maybe less than a couple weeks ago, key or repeat time. So this is two seconds. That's the delay between the loops. And again, you can make this anything you want. And to tell you the truth, um, so one second is the minimum. I've never actually checked to see what the, so 60 seconds is the maximum. So you can send the memories once a minute or once a second and anywhere in between with uh, one second increments. All right, so that is the memories. That's it for this time. We're almost done with covering CW-specific functions. We'll be continuing to pick up bits and pieces that I've skipped or missed in the manual as this series begins to wind down. If you find these videos useful, please click on the Like button, and I'm always happy to see comments if you've got corrections, suggestions, or questions. If you find this channel useful and you want to be notified when more videos are coming out, please consider subscribing. One way that you can do that is by clicking on the icon that will pop up at the lower right toward the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.